Hey everyone and welcome to this root learning series. Uh, sorry, uh, hello fellow simmers and welcome to my root learning video of the Duck and Railway. So this root learning video is for those of us that are going to be playing our Duck and Railway uh, role play session. Uh, it's a non-public session guys so don't get any ideas, <laughs> it's just for the BLS team. But uh, yes, yeah, just enjoy the show really you can get a general idea of what this route looks like uh, it will be released on the trains download station when it is done and obviously you can make your own multiplayer sessions or role play servers or whatever you want to do basically uh, and we'll also include resident locos with the route as well so today we're going to be using 37517 and we're going to be doing Ducken to Cresswell today which is the up train service. We'll do the down train service in a different video and we'll also do the North Barton mainline section in a part three video. So we're gonna do a few little videos of this to get yourselves getting used to how to drive the route. So 37517 is probably one of the easiest diesels to drive. So I'm going to be using that so I don't have any issues. And I'm going to stick to speed limits and basically, yeah, show you all the areas of the route. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out and go to our map view. So this is a Ducken track plan. So we have a storage siding here where obviously you've got the sleeper coach for the volunteers that stay the night. And then quite often D5320 is stored in this siding. Uh, as a Thunderbird. Now uh, we've also got the demonstration fate, uh, fate? <laughs> the demonstration freight service which is usually stored on the outer loop but Ducken here. So this is where all the demo freights come in, run round and do their bit and go back down the line. So we're situated into platform one here and our signal is currently red. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to switch the junction ahead which is here so it will show green and we can do that by pressing J. But first of all, we're gonna get into the cab of our locomotive. So here we are in the cab of our class 37. So what we're gonna to need to do first of all is to obviously keep ourselves into neutral, our position, and then we're gonna start releasing our brake as soon as we have the road. So we're gonna press J and that should give us the road. It has indeed. So we're all pretty much ready to leave. We'll put our brake into the release position, put ourselves into forward gear, give ourselves a quick toot on the horn. And away we go. So in Ducken, we have a 10 mile an hour limit until we, we head over to the bridge and then it will change to 25. As you can see, we've got the 25 miles per hour speed board coming up. As soon as we get past that, we'll be able to start opening her up and get into line speed. So like every Heritage Railway, the line speed is 25 miles per hour and that is standard on all steam railways around the UK, except from the Great Central Railway, which is used regularly on network rail and national network test trains. Soon start to be able to get up to speed. Off we go.
it's okay to go the occasional one mile an hour over the speed limit. That's just not, that's not too much of an issue, is it really? It'll go back down to 25 in a minute anyway. There we are, look. These windows are becoming very misty. We need some demisters in here, don't we? So coming up here on the left is the main line junction to North Barton. It will come up in a second. We can see it as we zoom in there. So that is the main line junction up to North Barton Pier. That is not important to us today because we are heading down the preserved section and 37517 St Aidan's is not a main line certified locomotive. So it won't be able to go down there at all. We need to be cautious around here because there's leaves on the line. As it said on the sign, there's poor potential to have leaves on the line. So this session depicts a heavy traffic, busy summer Saturday. So there'll be three trains in operation. And this is usually the sort of, the same sort of uh, style of running that we do at the galas on the Duckham Railway. So you'll have certain passing points for trains. The up train would usually pass the down train pretty often. So this section it's pretty much all flat. should potentially be coming up to our first station now at Pride Park. This is where we're going to start slowing up soon and come to a gradual stop. There's no need for me to use the power because I could just coast into the station heading up here. Pride Park is basically a children's play park and picnic area. There's also country walks around the local area which people can go on. So it is quite a popular station. Start gradually braking now.
I know technically you shouldn't drive over the foot crossing, but in this station there's not really any choice because otherwise you won't get the coaches in the step platform. So it's always best to try and get over the foot crossing. I mean, you can get one one coach in there with not going over the foot crossing, I suppose, but. I suppose in reality you wouldn't really drive over this foot crossing. So Pride Park is just a one platform halt. It isn't a request stop. Trains always do stop here. They always stop here. It's not just a request stop. I mean, it could be, but I just usually have all trains stop here. Mm. So I'm shutting off the power now because we're going to come to a very steep incline after Pride Park, the steepest part of the route. So this is a big downhill section so we need to make sure we're not going too fast for the downhill section. As you can see, we're picking up speed quite dramatically down here. Should be coming up to another whistle board now for the tunnel. Village station. Crossing is opening at the top section. Subset. Oh, I'm messing up my words. We'll stop just before the signal. There we go. And we are bang on the dot in the platform. Look at that. So Pride Village is a great little village actually. I love Pride Village. It's probably it is my favourite station on the route. It just looks so nice and peaceful. It's a lovely looking village. And I really do think that I've done a good job on this village. It just it does look very nice, doesn't it? Like the, the old buildings and yeah, it's, it's great really. It really is. Got the church there with the graveyard. Yeah, it's, I'm really impressed with this station. I really do like it. So it's a one platform station again. This is probably one of the main stations. I would say Pride Park is more of a request stop, but at Gala's it would stop there regularly because of the kids and stuff, so.
Now there should be another whistle sign around about here but it isn't here on this version of the route so I'm just going to do it now. Okay, so as we reach Pride Yard, this is where we pass the down train, which is heading towards Duckham. At this point, we slow down to a 15 mile an hour limit through Pride Yard and Pride Yard Station. Pride Yard Station isn't used for the public. It's only used for shed tours. Um, for gala events and things like that so people can go on shed tours around Pride Yard at certain times of the day but it's not usually open to the public so we're going to be passing the steam service which is heading down to Duckham we're going to collect the token from the box give us clear to the next section down to North Burton Hill. So before I continue, I'm going to just show you the layout for Pride Yard. And yeah, basically as you can see here, this is the layout for Pride Yard. We have the obviously the main up line towards uh, New Hampton and Cresswell. And then we have the down line, which is in this loop, which goes down to Duckham. And the down train always halts at this signal to await the up train to pass down to Cresswell. So, yeah, pretty much when you're doing a down service, you must await the next train down from Duncan to pass you. Should soon be able to open it up to 25 again. Gala driving. So the former siding loop, as you see on the left hand side, wait, is it left or is it right? Sorry, I mean right hand side, you'll see that there's an old siding, and basically that is basically no longer used, and it's just a rusted heap, as you can see. Pride Way crossing.
we'll soon to be arriving into North Burton Neal, which is the only two platform station on the whole line. And this is the second passing point for trains on the line. And at this point, we're going to be going 20 miles per hour along the remaining section down to Cresswell. Now currently North Burton Hill has an automatic stop point in the platform so your train just stops. This will be rectified in future editions of the route so you will no longer have that irritating just stopping in the same place nonsense. But for this particular video it will do that. So here we are just passing the steam service. Platform 1 is the up train to Cresswell and then platform 2 is the down train to Duckham. At this point, while the train is halted into platform 1, platform 2 train would depart for Duckham. But in this case, we're not going to do that because uh, we, we, there's only one of us playing the game at the moment. So it's not going to happen. We've just got to try and operate free trains with one person, which is it's okay, it works, but in a different way than it usually would. One of the 33s is going for some reason. This signal will go clear once you've got up to it now. So, like before, before we move on, we're going to take a look at North Burton Hill's track plan. So it's a more complex track plan because this is where all the main locomotives are stored. So as you can see, we've got the loop here, two junctions here. This junction comes off here and heads into the loop here, which then leads into the steam sheds. Steam sheds are located here, and then the diesel sheds are located here. So you'll be able to see all of these junctions and the roads where they lead, etc. Then we also have carriage sidings which are here and these two lines are the double the, the small double track section of the heritage line down to New Hampton and then the double track gets singled again just after New Hampton again and then the track on the left here is the miniature railway which we'll see soon basically so we'll get back to our train and continue our journey down to New Hampton.
perfect stopping point there. This is New Hampton, and also I have noticed I really like this. He's got the route maps on the side of the station. I like it. Look at that. We've got the whole route map there. <laughs> That's a really nice touch. We've even got the old Southern Railway Station signs, which is also really nice. There's the mini rail. Mm. Now it's down to our last leg of Cresswell. So this is the Cresswell extension. I'm going to head down to Cresswell, which is the final station on the line. And then, yeah, that is our trip from Duckham to Cresswell. <laughs> And here we are, arrived at Cresswell. Now, one thing to do note when you do arrive into Cresswell, make sure that your coaching stock is not overhanging the point work like this. So you may have to move your train a little bit further down the line to a possibly this point here. And then that will prevent you having an overhang at the back of your train. So, I hope this has been helpful to the newcomers of the Duckham Railway for the role play by BLS on trains, which will happen in the future for the BLS team. And yeah, let me know what else you want to know. I will be doing another video of this from Cresswell to Duckham, sort of the same thing as we just did, but the other way, and showing what the down trains path is and then we are going to do the Duckan to North Barton mainline section in the final part of my training video series of the Duckan Railway. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video and goodbye for now.